The Mural of Peace is a wall painting in the apse of the Church San Francesco d'Assisi in Avellino, painted by the Avellino citizen artist Ettore De Concilis and his collaborator Rocco Falciano in 1965. The message conveyed by the mural is that oppression, hatred, imperial and totalitarian governments, racism and inequality may be overcome through dialogue and acceptance. The original name of the mural was Peace, Atomic Bomb and Peaceful Coexistence. The mural covers an area of 120 square meters. It is 22 meters long by 6 meters high. It took the artists more than a year to complete. The mural is divided into three sections. The right section. The left section. And a central section. Our study starts with the analysis of the central section. The continuation of life is conveyed by the image of a woman carrying a child. The half-destroyed building symbolizes life that overcomes devastation. In contrast, the mushroom cloud, produced by the explosion of the atomic bomb, conveys the idea of death. The ruins represent destruction. But the cross among the ruins expresses the idea that faith survived death. On the right, the themes of death, destruction and suffering are represented by fly bombers. Men executed by hanging on the gallows. Soldiers leveling their rifles. human corpses in mass graves and survivor of bombings in countries at war. A real barbed wire links the corpses as if it awakened mankind's consciousness. Pope Pius XII, who expresses his sorrow over the devastation of Rome, emerges above an army of soldiers holding bayonets. A man holding a small cross found among the ruins may symbolize the hope of mankind for salvation. A huge figure of St. Francis of Assisi dominates the section. De Concilis chose to reproduce the Cimabue fresco of St. Francis of Assisi because of its likeness to the saint. The saint's tunic is not painted. The concilis use pieces of real clothes to make it in order to emphasize the idea of poverty, freedom from want which divides men. Farmers from southern Italy holding flans and signs calling for justice and riding their mules take over owners' farmland as a symbol of the peasant rebellion against oppression. The artist wants to emphasize that the peace process begins from the bottom of society. Important is the peasant world in the struggle for justice, equality and freedom. Humble country gentlemen starve the farmers, donkeys and mules. A crowd gathers around the sand and looks at him searching for peace. Among the crowd we can see both unknown faces and recognizable faces of people from different fields of culture, even some atheists. All men must take part in the peace process, not only one social class or one political party. Here are some figures. Pope John XXIII, the Pope who fosters dialogue with the world and who focuses on the openness of the church to the world and to art. The Concilis embraced the new view of art through sacred art, no longer restricted to petitive sins, but sins of atrocities produced by men.
John F. Kennedy, the American president who fought for the civil rights of the minorities. Guido D'Urso, an antifascist and politician in favor of the social and economic growth of depressed areas in southern Italy. Cesare Pavese, an Italian poet and writer who denounced different forms of repression, evaluating the richness of the peasant world. Rocco Scotellaro, the famous peasant mayor and an Italian writer and politician who fought against poverty in southern Italy. Eduardo De Filippo, an Italian writer and actor of plays whose ma major concern was social justice. His plays deal with the hopes and the suffering of common people from southern Italy. Sofia Loren, an Italian actress who experienced the world bombings and appeared in the famous World War II based film La Ciotara. Bertrand Russell, a West, Welsh philosopher and activist who was contrary to war and the atomic bomb and who believed that war is contrary to civilization. Dolores Ibaruri, a Spanish politician who held anti-war views and fought against the Spanish regime. Alberto Moravia, an Italian writer and anti-fascist. Francesco De Santis, an Italian scholar of literature and history from the Irpinia district, interested in the spread of democracy and the development of southern Italy. Palmiro Togliatti, an Italian anti-fascist and a politician who fought for democracy and constitutional values. Pablo Picasso, a Spanish artist who showed the brutalities of war in Guernica. Pier Paolo Pasolini, an Italian writer who fostered the culture of common people and who denounced every form of repression. Mao Zedong, the Chinese president who had a highly positive perception of peasantry and who believed that the peasants had the role of freeing a nation from oppression. Fidel Castro, the Cuban dictator who made a series of reforms to better the lives of the lower classes on an equal basis. Bishops of Avellino. Gioacchini Pedicini faced the difficult task of preaching in the post-World War II period. Pasquale Venezia emphasized the importance of the role of clergy in the world. Carlo Levi, an Italian Jewish painter and writer who evaluated the values of the peasant world. The mural of peace of the artist Ette de Goncilis is a great artwork of international fame for its artistic quality, its thematic richness, the ever current ideas it expresses, and because it is one of the few examples of contemporary art in the town of Avellino. Our aim is to reach a wider audience among young people in our town.